Oh, thanks for watching this video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, uh, match button in bank fee transactions. So I get this question a lot. How come I don't see match button in bank fee transactions? Uh, so I just wanted to go through why you don't see match button. Okay, so I'm just going to go to the QuickBooks Online now. Okay, so this is my demo account. These are not real transactions. Okay, so uh, uh, in here, you know, the first two I see uh, math, but for the other ones, I don't see uh, any math button at all. So, so that's the that's the question I get. You know, bank downloaded, but I don't see any math. Okay, so the math happens only if you have recorded transactions in QuickBooks Online, either manually or through your uh, software apps. You know. It's already downloaded and it's in it's in the bank register. It's in the bank register. So the match means it's basically matching uh, with the transactions you have already recorded in QuickBooks Online register. So you don't want to add it. So adding it means it will create duplicate transactions. That's why you're just matching it, you know, so that that, that one will go away. You know, basically, it will go away. So if you are uh, uh, you know, you have third party apps like payroll, you know, and uh, or even QuickBooks payroll, they create it will uh, they will download transactions and will, you will see uh, the match button in here. Same thing with uh, sales apps, you know, like uh, uh, like uh, all kinds of sales apps like PayPal or some other apps, you know, they will download uh, sales transactions and uh, you will see match button here so that's why you see the match here it's already in register that's why okay so in here you see match uh, because i've already created this manual transaction uh, for these two so if you want to see match you have to create a manual transaction for this one let's just say it's, i'm just going to do it manually okay i'm going to go to another uh, uh, screen in here i'm just going to enter the manual and then you will see uh what happens when you manually create transaction quickbooks register Okay, so I'm just going to refresh this and see what happens. See, and now you see the uh, match one for this one, you know, because I already, I just created the manual uh, uh, entry for this transaction. So if you have a manual entry or through uh, app, then you will see match. Otherwise, you won't see it. You basically, uh, just have to add it, you know. Uh, so that's about it. So if you can just match it here. That means that one go away, go away, and that one's go away. So you just have to come up with the uh, uh, manually add, categorize transactions to manually add these transactions, you know. Basically, that's what it. And so especially the, uh, uh, you know, if you have a, uh, income uh, like a sales uh, deposit so if you have created invoice and receive payment then you will see uh, uh, match uh, for this one let's just see uh, how it works for this one
Okay, I've created a sales receipt for this one. So now if I refresh this, you will see uh, the match button in here. Yeah, I went to the wrong, wrong bank account. So now if we refresh this, I should see a match. So this is for the uh, uh, sales. So you have the match here. So I think you got an idea now. Uh, so don't worry, you know, if you haven't created any uh, transactions in, uh, in, your, in, in, in your QuickBooks manually or through your apps, you won't see match. Uh, then you just have to keep on adding these transactions. The moment you add, it will go to, go to the register. So that's how it works. Add, add, you, you go to, it goes to register, match is already in register. That's the basic difference. Okay. Well, thank you for watching this video. Bye.